Pop a cat a petal. Pop a cat a petal. Pop a cat a petal. The tip of the tongue, the tooth, then the lips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the eye, a terrible aspect. Pa -pa -pa -pa. Pa -pa -pa -pa. A terrible aspect. Pa -pa -pa -pa. I see you stand like greyhounds in the slips, straining upon the start. The game's afoot. Follow thy spirit. And upon this charge, Cry God for Harry, England, and St. George! Oh, right. You're the creepy guy in the blonde wig from Game of Thrones. How's that going? I'm actually, I, I left actually a, a, a few years ago. Oh. Don't wake the dragon, right? Yeah. So, uh, what have you been doing since? Well, actually, I, uh, I played Henry VI last year at, at the RSC. Um, and a bit before that, in fact, I played Bolingbroke, which obviously becomes Henry IV in quite a popular radio dramatization. So, um, well, when I heard you were making a film of Henry V, I thought, let's, let's complete the trilogy. Are you big on Twitter? Me? Hey, creepy guy, why haven't you been working? I'm an actor, I'm selective about my rules. No one cares, you need to be popular. Harry? What? You need to leave the house. You need to get back out there, it's not healthy. <laughs> So what? I was writing Clash of Kings. I didn't see sunlight for six months. You don't want to try it. Trust me. You know, George, I was thinking of writing something, actually. Really? Fantastic! Acting is for douchebags. I'm too smart to be sitting around waiting for the phone to ring. Last night I was working on the ending. Wait, hold on. Hi, Gina. I know who got the Henry V role. Who? Seth Rogen. Now, now, before you get upset, just know it had nothing to do with you. Everyone loves Seth. He's a big name, huge on social media. Do, do you follow him on Twitter? Yesterday, he followed As I was saying, I was playing with the end of book 10. Right, and... Not right now. Harry, hold on a sec. That was the one. It was my dream role. They gave it to the dude from Pineapple Express. Is the world gone completely mad? <laughs> What are you doing? I'm just tweeting him well done. You're tweeting Seth Rogen? Yeah, this is hot news. You want to get in there early with this stuff. Maisie, what, you really think some Hollywood celebrity is going to be your friend because you're like, oh, Tweety Tweety, well done, Seth. You're so cool. He's not my friend. This is a business move. No, it's not. You just want the attention. I take care of my brand. I now have over half a million people following me. I come to every audition with guaranteed numbers. What do you come with? A degree? Oh, come on. I'm not going to be a web whore. <laughs> Why do famous people always get my roles? Why did Lucy leave me? <gasps> Maybe I should try and grow a beard. That way, it looks like I don't care. Maisie, I'm an actor, mm -hmm. all right? No, you're not. I am an actor. You're unemployed. I've carved out the perfect character for myself on social media. And I am very busy until late next year. What'd you say? Listen, if you'd have got on this when you actually had something to sell, then it wouldn't matter what you say. You'd have a job right now and a healthy audience. But you're a tool. Welcome, Welcome to the 21st century. century. Hi, Harry. This is so exciting. It's the whole world. What do we post? What do we do? 
Let's do a selfie. Hey, get a picture with your dog. People love this stuff. Oh my god, she is cute. Come on! What are you waiting for? Our first follower. I wonder who it is. Special. Special little boots. <laughs>